Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today's PDCGO video guys, we're going to be taking a look at an Alolan Muck GX focused deck using Alolan Muck with basically just some Poison Boys like uh, Sviper, and we even have stuff like Koga's Trap in the deck, and basically what the strategy of this deck is all about is using Alolan Muck to poison the opponent and then use Poison Absorption to heal it. Muck is very tanky. It's got 270 HP. When you stack a buff padding on it, Muck goes up to 320 HP. And then Muck is just a really big tanky card, and it's also healing 100 damage from it. It's taking knockouts. Um, so Muck actually is kind of fun, and I got a really good first match, so you guys won't want to miss that. Uh, before we get into this PCO video, guys, of course, so shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. If you are ever looking for any PDCGO codes for any set, whether it be team up, or Unbroken Bonds. If you're still looking for Unbroken Bonds code, you can get them over at Cardcaver TCG. If you're also looking for trainer kits, elite trainer boxes, or a, like GX box codes, uh, Card Cavern's got them all. And when you buy something from Card Cavern TCG, of course, guys, you can use code LDF, get a 5% discount on the order, uh, which is pretty sweet. So if you guys are looking for any Unbroken Bond stuff or any other PDCGO codes for whatever you need, uh, go get them over at Card Cavern TCG and, of course, L code LDF. So let's look at what this deck is all about. So as you can see, it's just a Alolan Muck focused deck. We're not actually going to be playing like any other psychic techie kind of cards. No Giratinas, no Necrozmas, no Dawnwings. It's just all going to be about Muck. So Alolan Muck GX and Muck GX has the interesting uh, poison traits about it. So it's not like a great card. Obviously, poison is kind of weak because there's stuff like switches, Guzma, Ace Roller, Retreating which are all pretty big problems for Muck. However, Muck does have the attack Severe Poison and uh, Poison Absorption, which combo really well with this card's like kind of tankiness. So Severe Poison, poisons the opponent's active, and then you put eight damage counters on it. Um, and when you stack a Viper, you can do 90, and you can do 100 with two Survipers in play, so then you're doing a lot of poison damage. You also have Poison Absorption, which can do 120 damage. Um, and if your opponent's active is poisoned, heal 100 damage from this Pokemon. That's a lot of damage to heal. 100 damage is not something to scoff at. That's going to heal up Muck pretty well. And uh, that's going to be what we're going to be trying to do is do this combo. And uh, try to just make Muck really tanky. Uh, along with stuff like Ace Rolla, we have ways to heal our Muck even more. Just make it a really annoying card to get through. Now, Muck is a Psychic type, so we are going to pair it with Malamar as a way to charge it up. Uh, this deck just centers around Muck. Uh, as you can see, again, there's no other psychic attackers outside of just mucking like Viper, And it's just going to be centered around just trying to make a little muck tank. So we got Malamar to help build it up. I'm going with a 3-3. Obviously, we don't need a 4-4. You can always just go with like a 2-2 line, but I'm going with 3-3. Malamar does always have a big target on his head when it is in play, uh, especially when you're up against Zapdos. Uh, everything else in the deck just kind of supports it. Obviously, the Vipers are here. I am playing two copies of Jirachi. I just really like having Stellar Wish as a way to find what we are looking for. I am also playing Absol. Uh, obviously, one big way they get out of the poison lock is by retreating. So what we can do is we can use Absol to make them have an extra retreat cost. Sometimes they cannot retreat when Absol's in play, and it makes it kind of tough for them to retreat, and they have to give up more to retreat, which sometimes they don't want to do. That's it for the Pokemon line, and I just want Marshadow, obviously, for the disruption. Uh, going into the trainers and supporters now, uh, we are going four Nest Balls, four Treasures, and two Ultra Balls as a way to get our Pokemon out. I am playing one Stretcher just to get our Pokemon back. I am playing two Switches. Muck is a very tanky card. It does have four Retreat costs, so it is very, you know, bulky. Malamar has a two Retreat cost. viper has got two Retreat costs. Just stuff with, like, big Retreat costs. You know, it's really nice to have these Switching cards to help get them out of the active. And also, we use it with Jirachi, obviously. Uh, now, Stadium Time. There's actually... Three different stadiums I was thinking of putting in this deck. The main one is, I think, always going to be Viridian. Viridian is just too good in this deck. Um, personally, I would prefer having a Viridian Forest in play over the other stadium at Dust Island, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I personally just find Viridian better. There's also Sea of Nothing Nothingness, which you uh, I could play also if it's here. There it is. Special conditions are removed when the Pokemon evolves or de evolves. But we're kind of playing in like a pretty big tag team basic meta right now so see if nothingness kind of doesn't work unless you're expecting zork but you already would knock them out anyways by poison because you're doing so much poison damage so you don't really need to see of nothingness but we do have dust island which states whenever either player switches their bench pokemon with uh the effect of a trainer so guzma ace rolla or switch or escape rope the new active stays poisoned so this is a really good way to kind of keep them poisoned i don't know how i feel about dust island though i think it's an all right card for sure 
uh, you can go with either Dust Island or just bump up the Viridian. I, you know, if you wanted to, you can go one Viridian, two Dust Islands. It's up to you though, which one you prefer. Uh, I've gone with two Viridians for the video. I'd rather just get rid of energy and stuff for the discard to help build up four muck. Um, so for supporter time, I'm going one Ace Rolla, two Guzma, four Lily, uh, four Cynthia, your standard stuff. Now the big one I'm gonna be playing is two copies of Koga. And you're probably like, why would you put Koga in the deck? That does not make any sense. You can't use it uh, when they're already poisoned. But here's the thing. What if they're not poisoned? Right? What if they're not poisoned and Muck has damage on it? Well, you can play Koga, confuse and poison them, and then you can do Poison Absorption to heal Muck. So you kind of see why the Koga is a big player in it. Honestly, guys, if I didn't have two Kogas in this deck, just just wait until you see the first match I got. Um, just saying, Koga is really good in here. Now, I'm playing two buff padding. This is really good with Muck. Gives Muck 320 HP. You can also go Choice Helmet if you want to, which gives Muck 300 HP. Buff Padding can get uh, easily countered by Absol, and then it's a useless card. I'm going with three Escape Boards, four DCs for our Muck, and uh, seven Psych Energies. And that's it for the Muck Alolan Muck list I got here. It's all centered around Muck. Again, no Malamars, or no Giratina, sorry. No, like, Mimikyus, no Dawn Wings. Nothing like that. We're just going all in with our Muck. Uh, and yeah, let's go get some matches with it and uh, see in action. All right, guys, let's go get some matches with some Alolan Muck see uh, what this deck is all about and we'll see if the poison ends up working for us here on PDCGO. I am looking forward to playing a little muck. It does seem like a fun card to play. Being able to heal yourself is actually really good um, and oh look at that first game we're up against a uh, friend of mine. That's really cool. Alright let's give him the hello. Let's see if we win the coin flip. We do not. gonna be a funny matchup though we'll see what my opponent's running uh oof. got a bit of a doozy of a hand not great uh, i guess we could do viridian we could do lily we could switch into jirachi if we can find it so it's not the end of the world let's we'll see what my opponent's running here it's looking like they're ooh they're gonna be playing hoopa umbreon um that's not too bad i guess poison doesn't work on hoopa i'm like 100 certain of that um, so we'll see how this goes there's a Spirit Tomb. So it looks like they're playing Hoopa Umbreon, which is fine. I think we can beat it. I don't think it's the worst matchup ever. Could be bad. Could be worse. Um, we'll see how we pair here in this type of matchup. But again, we do have uh, a Lolan Muck, which doesn't really do much. So we might not have to use a Lolan Muck here. Ooh, they have a Giraffe Ring. Interesting. Oh, they're actually going to Guzma my Inkei out. Looks like they didn't really have much then. Okay, what do we draw? Another energy. All right. I, I don't like giving them Viridian, but I need two thin. So let's see what we have. Uh, oof. <laughs> the only answer to Hoopa is going to be Saviper, Malamar, Marshadow, and Koga, which is not great. This might be a bit of an uphill battle to win this game. We'll see, though. Like, we'll Lily for four. Uh, there's a Nest Ball. Gonna get Jirachi with it. We'll switch in Jirachi. Alright, let's see what Stellar Wish gives me. There's a treasure. That can get rid of another energy. Um, I think I'll just take the Nest Ball. Go into another Jirachi, maybe. I don't even think we'll get knocked out, though. He didn't really get much. Uh, we'll get the Alolan Muck in play. I will put one into play. We can always Ace Roll it if like it ever gets like threatened. To be KO'd. It's not the end of the world. But again, just dealing with Hoopa is going to be hard. If my opponent ends up playing a couple Pokemon down, maybe we're okay. And maybe what I could have done instead is just not brought out any Alolan Mucks just to try and confuse them and uh, make them play some more Pokemon down so I have extra targets with Muck. Let's see though. I guess one thing we could do is if he switches into Hoopa and we have Dust Island in play. Uh, we could be able to maybe have that stick because if we poison a Pokemon that's not Hoopa and Dust Island's in play and he goes into Hoopa, I think Hoopa does stay poisoned. But if you deal with Hoopa, is not going to be easy. Again, we don't have that many answers to it. We do have Mars Shadow. We do have Malamar. But yeah, we can't poison Hoopa. A pokey gear so we'll see what he get lost i guess he's just gonna probably just put away the energy unfortunately the energy probably the lily 
Yeah. Oh, the Viridian, actually. Okay. All right, let's see if we can draw. There's our Malamar. Would have been nice if you didn't get rid of my stadium. We can buff Padding. Buff Padding would be nice, but uh, on any other Pokemon that isn't Muck, but only works on Muck. We'll skateboard. We could definitely save the Koga for when we do need a Poison Hoopa. Um, we could just go for Cynthia and hope to hit like a DC. No DC. All right, if we can get a treasure, which we do. Okay, we can do treasure. We can poison him, um, which is good. We can knock him out, actually. We'll just get some Viper. Again, we can use the Viper in this matchup, too. So we have, like, a couple of attackers here in, like, that's about it, though. We don't have an insane amount of attackers that can kind of deal with my opponent. So it might be a little tough. Uh, we can at least use the Viper and have the damage stack on Hoopa. So we'll see how this goes. Depending on how many healing cards they're actually playing, which I don't know if they're playing that many. So just severe poison. Knock out the uh, Giraffe Rake thanks to Surviper. And uh, we'll see what my opponent does. They're most likely going to bring in Hoopa because we can't poison it. There's an Absol. We do have Absol, but that's not going to work because we don't have a Dark Energy in the deck. Kind of made me wish I ran Giratina. If we had Giratina, I think we'd be okay. But Giratina can't one-shot Hoopa, so I don't know. Uh, there's a Cynthia. Hmm, judging from this hand, I don't think I can attack him... The nest ball. Don't know what to grab. I want to try and hit him with Saviper this turn, but I don't know that's possible. I think I'm just gonna switch into Jirachi. Uh, we'll nest ball for probably just another Inkay. Maybe get Ultra Ball. All right, we'll take it. I can also Koga him. That might be a good idea to try and Koga him. We'll Ultra Ball, get rid of the Muck and the Absol. Got nothing. We'll do Lily, see if Lily helps us out. No energy! Oh, not even a DCE. Feels bad, man. Well, I don't want to lose Jirachi, so I guess we just let him hit the muck. I guess next turn I can lose my knockout spirit tomb. I don't think my opponent's going to be putting many more Pokemon in play. They probably see how Hoopa is just going to win the game for them. There's an Erika. Yikes. <laughs> That's a pretty big hand. Ooh, okay, there's another Pokemon coming down. Uh, we can actually knock out Eevee here with Severe Poison. We're gonna do another Spirit Team. So they are playing some extra Pokemon down. There's three prizes we can potentially take, which is good. Okay, what do we draw? Not an energy. Wow. Okay, well, I think we just Guzma the Eevee and knock it out. I think Eevee is a bigger threat than uh, Hoopa, or Umbreon is a bigger threat to me right now because that thing can like, just come out of nowhere and knock out like, the Survivors. Okay, nothing off a of Stellar Wish. Still annoyed that I haven't found a single energy yet. And I think we just Severe Poison knock him out. We'll see what our prize is. We might find an energy off the prizes. Hopefully we do. DC would be great. Okay, we got Koga. And again, we can Koga the Ho Hoopa. We can Koga Hoopa heal Muck if I do no damage. That's like a really weird idea, but that could be a way we can maybe try and stall him or something. I don't know. I don't think we can stall, but that could be something we can try. I think we will have to Koga the Hoopa, though. So I can do another Guzma here. I don't know if I want to burn my Guzmas, though. But again, we can Guzma knock out one of these Spirit Tombs, which is good. There's a Cynthia. Super Cybolt for 90. Alright, what do we draw? There's a DCE. Okay. So I Ace Rolla, DC Viper, Treasure Away in Energy, bring in Drachi. Alrighty then, let's do that. I don't know. This is going to be tough to win, and I don't even know if we can win, to be honest with you. We don't have enough ways to, like, bring stuff out to kind of get there. It's going to be a little tough. Uh, definitely want to get another Surviper down, that's for sure. I mean, we 
So Viper can definitely attack, and that's like the good thing um, about this situation. Even though there's really a good thing about it in general, but at the very least we have somewhat of a couple of attackers here that can try and put up with the Hoopa. So we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, we get another Maui down, which I like. Get rid of the energy. So we're definitely gonna have to use these Kogas at the right moments too, because again, Koga is one way we can deal with um, these things. Kind of wish I had a stadium right now to kind of get rid of this devoured field. I don't think he can knock me out though. Again, we're not doing much damage. We're only doing 30 here with the poison, but he has to either retreat or something if he wants to get out of this. We'll see, man. This is gonna be tough. Kind of wish I had a way to attack with Absol, but I wasn't expecting the Hoopa matchup. So, like, does it really matter? Not really. The Giraffe Ray could come back and play too. That would be pretty bad, actually. If he Giraffe Rays some of my stuff away, that could be bad. Okay, spurling up the Hoopa. He can retreat, obviously, to get out of the poison, but no, we'll see. He's gonna survive. All right. So, I can try to attack with mm, the Marshadow. Let's do it. Let's go Cynthia. Nothing else to burn, unfortunately. I'm trying to attack with Marshadow. I'd like to keep my Survipers alive as long as I can. Ah, uh, rip. We didn't get any Ultra Balls or anything. Marsh would have been nice. We would knock him out if we can go Marsh out. Oh, that really sucks. Okay, we'll treat. Do Stellar Wish. There's a Dust Island. All right. That's a good start. So now if he does switch this thing out, the new Hoopa will get poisoned. We're going to lose our Jirachi here, which I'm not a fan of. That's fine. We need to keep our Vipers alive. It's one of the only ways we can actually do a decent chunk of damage because of poison adding up over time. He might bump my Dust Island, though. Oh, he's playing Ace Roll in his list. Oh, my gosh. He's got Ace Roll in the deck. Well, as long as that's the only one, that sucks. Now we're back to square one. I think he knocked me out. Yeah. Are we going to knock out my Viper? No. Dang it. And he had the counter stadium. Wow. Busted. Well then. You can knock him out with Marshadow. I don't know. It's a good thing he didn't have an Absalom play right now, because then like I couldn't do these Drachi plays. Um Dollar Wish. There's a Guzma. We do have two energies in the discard, right? Only one, never mind. I was gonna say, we could maybe Guzma. No, that's not gonna work. All right, well. Grab the Guzma, I guess. I could grab Ultra Ball also. Don't think I need to. Yikes, what do I do here? What do I do? I think I just... I don't want to attack with Marshadow because I don't want to lose it. But I need to get a knock it on this thing. I think what we try and do then is just try and go for a Lolan Muck. Lolan Muck is one of the only things that can knock this thing out. But I, I don't want to give up a Viper. I don't want to give up my Marshadow. Okay. Good draws. I uh, don't want to give him an energy, but I don't want him to keep the Demarred Field. Plus, we need to do this. So, we do have a stretcher in the deck. Okay, that's good. So, we'll have to save that at the right moment. Uh, we do have to watch out. We might get decked out soon. We only have 11 cards, but that's probably not going to happen. We can always save our stretcher, though, to get back to Viper, Marsh Shadow. And, yeah, that'll be the plan. So, we will Severe Poison knock out my opponent. 90 damage. Bye-bye, Mark. Bye-bye. See what our prize is. 
under DC. I think I will keep this game in. Not only one, because it is against someone I know. And two, because you know what? I'm trying my hardest to try and keep up in this matchup. So I think this is actually a, hopefully an entertaining match. You know, it could be it could be bad. We could just literally just spam poison all game, win the game by just using severe poison constantly, and then just troll the opponent. This is a lot better. Oh, he's gonna Guzma me. He's gonna bring out this Viper. Does he have a knockout? Don't think so. He's 10 damage short. We can slap on a DC and do Venomous Fang, which I'm gonna do. There's no way he can knock me out unless he plays a Professor Kikui out of nowhere, which he doesn't have any good. About 80 then, so I think we just go for Venomous Fang. I could do Treasure, which yeah, I guess we'll do. We can always attack with Malamar. Uh, but the only problem with that is that Malamar gives up the prize immediately. Well, I guess it can take a hit, potentially. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, assuming there's no Absol coming down, uh, we're going to try and... We'll attempt to build up Malamar. We still have our Koga. Don't forget. So we'll Venomous Fang him. We don't get a lot of poison because we only have one Survivor in play, but this is fine. He still is poison. And if he does a switching card, the new active will be poison. I'm just hoping he's not playing any more than just two Ace Rollers. That's, like, all I can say. There's just a knockout. Alright, bring in Jirachi. We're looking to get Stretcher back soon. We don't want to back now. We want to be able to get back most of our attackers with it. 80 HP. Okay. I can attack him with Malamar, maybe. We'll get Cynthia. So I can hit him for 30. I don't see a point in that, though. I get him for 40. He won't get knocked out, but he will have a low amount of HP. And as long as he's not going to devour field, I don't want to waste a DC, though, on this. I don't think I have an energy left in the deck. We'll get rid of an Ultra Ball. That's no energy left. I think I gotta go Marshadow then. Sure, we'll go Marshadow. We do more damage with Malamar, but I don't have enough energy. And we can knock out the Hoopa here if he attacks me. Coco would be nice to have in the deck too. That'd be great, but we don't have it. Still have one Guzma left, right? Yeah. He's gonna retreat. Dang it, dude. Okay, now we wanna get Rescue Stretcher. We can Guzma the Spirit Tomb knock it out. We can also Guzma the Hoopa knock it out with Malamar. Let's do it. I want to start taking prizes here. We're going to Guzma knock him out with Malamar. Stellar Wish. Stretcher. We should be found. We have another Nest Ball. That's important, actually. We just have to watch out for what we have left in the deck. All right, so we'll shuffle. Get back to Viper, to Viper, Marshadow. Because we do need these. We'll Guzma the Hoopa. We'll knock him out. We'll take our prize. Skateboard. Not really good. We can maybe a skateboard the Malamar, but I'd rather retreat get the energy of the discard. Maybe it was better to save it to knock out Spirit Tomb, but I don't know. I think we can get by these Hoopas as long as we can just carefully correct our plans of attacks. I think I will do a Koga here. I think we'll just Koga Psychic Spear. And we could probably live off of one Malamar, considering we have the two DCs. Or maybe not. I don't know. I think we prize Malamar. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. There's a Lily. Really wish I just had more non-Jex stackers. We have, a, like, an okay amount. Like, we have the Malamars. We got the Survipers. Got the Mars Shadow. I do wish I played more Psychic, more, like, back of attackers. I really wish I played Giratina. We'd probably win the game if we had Giratina. Uh, even though it gets one-shot and we actually can't one-shot him. But we can Koga, 
Giratina knock him out. That could work. So I kind of wish I had Giratina in this deck. Or something like that. It's fine, though. kind of wish I just had more attackers. So, he's going to hit me for 80. So we'll Koga him. There's the Saviper. That's good. DC that. And we will Psychic Sphere him for 40. He'll obviously retreat. It's kind of why I wish I had Absol in play right now, too, because then he'd have to give up all the energy to retreat, which would be pretty good. Oh, he's going to Guzma. Never mind. Oh, he's actually going to bring in the Mock, which is interesting. Hmm. This is fine. You can do a decent chunk of damage here. I don't think he's going to be too shy of me. He'd have to like play down another EV to set up an Umbreon to knock me out. But again, we have 320 HP. That's a lot of HP. Ooh, 160. Wow. Okay. Interesting. We can retreat, but not a bit of a cost. We'll just do this, do this. There's the other Viper. If he has another Guzma, he could win, obviously. I think I think I know what he's trying to do. Okay, let's just severe poison him, knock him out. We gotta deal with one more Hoopa to win the game. What's our prize going to be? Another buff padding, don't need it. I think my last prize was the other Malamar, right? Yeah. Or maybe it was something else. I don't know. Let's see what he's got. Let's bring in the heavily damaged Hoopa. That's good. So we'll have to give it the DC to retreat. I'm pretty sure we live. I don't think he can knock me out here with Hoopa. There's a Cynthia. If he hits like a DC or something, like I'd, I'd rather him attack me with this heavily damaged Hoopa. We'll see if he goes for it though. Oh, the black market. Uh oh. Do we have a way to bump that? I don't think we do. And he has another Guzma in the deck. No. I don't think we have a way to stop him now. I actually think we lose. I don't think think we can stop him because he has black market in play i don't know we might have one stadium left like i'm pretty certain i'm playing more than just two okay what do we draw we do the mars shadow Is it damage from an attack? Oh! So he loses to poison. So if he drops the Viper. And if we go 40, 20. Oh my gosh, I think we have game. Because he has to get knocked out by poison to lose. So we'll Koga. I think this is game. I actually think we have game. Just in case we don't. He has to get knocked out by poison for black market to work. Because it says it specifically said damage from an attack and <laughs> the big brain plane. Yo, okay, GG to uh, Gen Gengar101, a, a good friend of mine, and holy cow, what a match. Big brain plays. Oh, yo, that is exhilarating. Oh my gosh. That was a good game. I will see you guys in another match. All right, guys, let's go do some games. Well, another game, sorry, with the muck deck. Try and show off the poison a little bit better, hopefully. Okay, we're up against grass, metal, fire. Interesting type combination. 
All right, let's see how we fare here. We do win the coin flip, which is pretty good. Let's see what we start with. We're gonna mulligan. Curious to see what kind of deck my opponent's running. This might be a fire deck. I mean, he's got the Charizard coin and deck box. It might just be a Reshizard deck. I don't know what the grass type is though. Got an Absol start, not too terrible though. We do have Switch, so if we can get a Jirachi here, that would be great. A treasure for a Lolan Muck, which I think I'm gonna do. We'll see what kind of deck this is. This is most likely gonna be a fire deck. It's got metal and grass in the deck, so I'm not 100% certain what else. I guess the metal is going to be Jirachi, but what would the grass type be? If this is a fire deck, I don't know. Alright, what's my opponent flip over? Jirachi, alright. We'll treasure away the energy. I am going to just get a Lolan Muck here. I think just, I want to get this guy down ASAP. Go for Lily for 5. What do we find? Uh, oof. We weren't able to hit a single... Okay, no we case, no Jirachi. That's fine. Next turn we can go Severe Poison, which is good. Really hope he's not playing Enhanced Hammer. I highly doubt he is, though. And with Absalom play, he cannot retreat Jirachi without a Switch card, which is good. Or a Retreat with Energy. So that's a nice thing. He's playing Charizard. Oh my god. Charizard. That's fine. Not the worst matchup. We can actually Guzma knock out Charmander here, which I'm going to do. Unless he Marsh Shadows me. Oh, he's playing Meganium in his deck. That's what the Grass type was. Okay, interesting. Well, good thing he can't retreat Jirachi. I hope he doesn't Marsh Shadow me, because my plan here is to knock out the Charmander with Severe Poison. Try and slow him down a little bit. Charizard can't one-shot Muck most of the time. We do need to get a buff padding on, though, just to be sure. We can try and win this game, though, with the heal concepts and everything. So I don't think this is a terrible matchup. It's all about centered around Muck. I do wish times like this I had Giratina in the deck because it would be nice to have. We just don't have it though. Okay, so we're going to knock out the Charmander, that's for sure. What do we draw? Malamar, not looking for you, buddy. I'm sorry. So we'll take out Charmander. I could take out the Chikorita too. That might not be terrible either, but I think I'm just going to Severe Poison him. Not going to play the Viridian down, and we're just going to knock him out here with Severe Poison. I can attach DC and do Poison Absorption next turn if he attacks me, which I might do. There's another energy. Never mind, we don't have to do that. And again, Absol's in place. So he has, like, if he goes Strachi, he can't retreat it. So there's a good thing. And we got to show off the poison, which is fairly useful. And it looks like he's committing to Charizard here. Again, we won't get knocked out. I'm pretty certain, unless he, like, comes out over, like, Welder insane play. Uh, we'll see. We should not get knocked out here, though. I'm almost certain. If he knocks me out, I mean, what can I say? It's not the end of the world, though. I don't think three prizes. Ooh, he didn't have a Charizard. Ooh, with it. He can't retreat the Charmander either. He's got to commit to this. He concedes. Alrighty then. That was a pretty quick win. We'll do another game with the deck. I didn't know Alolan Muck was so threatening. I really didn't. I didn't know Alolan Muck caused people to quickly concede. Alright, let's see what we're up against next. I've been running a lot of Pika Rom, so I wouldn't be surprised if we ran into a Pika Rom deck. We shall see, though. Ooh, Greninja? Alright, I'll take a Greninja Zork matchup. That's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. And we do win the coin flip. That's a good start. Ugh, it's a Viper start, though. Not great. Not a bad hand, though. We can definitely get Muck down here, which I'm going to do. Get the DC on it. Alrighty, then. Let's see. Double the candle start. All right, so we'll treasure away a lily. We'll grab ourselves a Lolan Muck. Looks like we prized our rainbow rare one. That's not fun. DC. Slap down the Viridian. It does help my opponent, so it's like something I don't want to do, but I'd rather get the lily off. Okay, pretty good. We didn't get a switch. That's fine, though. We can nest ball for Absol. Actually, let's get NK. That's fine. I'd rather get more in cave down. We'll Viridian away the energy. Get an energy just to get stuff going. I think I'm gonna pass. I think I am just going to pass. It's gonna Viridian away the Lily. Gonna get dark energy. Alright. I kind of wish I'd get Absol, because then he can't retreat the Poipo, but it's not going to matter, because if he evolves into Ganadel, he'll have the retreat anyways. 
uh, and I don't know if it really matters to get the thing in play. So it's fine. It is fine. Alright, so he's going to do- oh, no energy gets terrible, that go back, alright. Choice helmet, that's fine, it, it makes us do less damage with poison absorption, but it does not stop the super absorption. There's a Ultra Ball, getting rid of Nagandal, Guzma. Oh, he's going for the Mar Shadow. that sucks. I actually would have just went Guzma here and poisoned him, so this is a little annoying. Hopefully we can still get Guzma energy. We can always go uh, Jirachi too and maybe find a Guzma if we can get like Switch or Skateboard here. Which we do. Another Greninja coming down. And just a Spit Poison, so not the best start for my opponent. Not the best start for my opponent. There's an Absol. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we'll bring away the Absol. Again, I don't think we need it. I really don't. So we can switch in Jirachi here. We can also Spit Poison, knock him out. So I have no energy in play if we do that. Yeah, screw it. Let's just do it. I don't even know if I want to play the Marshadow. His hand's uh, just not looking good. We'll Nest Ball for... Mm, get, might as well get another Viper. I was thinking either Inke there, but it's fine. And we will Severe Poison. We'll save the Marshadow. He's only got three cards in his hand. We'll let him see if he has anything. Knock out the Poipul. We'll take our prize. There's another Energy, so we can start doing Poison Absorption. I can slap on the DCE. Um... And then we can do Nasty Goo Mix. Put 15 damage on him. That could be fun. If he doesn't end up attacking me here, we might as well do it. So he'll need like an energy switch here in order to attack me. But he's not even going to do that much damage. He only has one little Naganadel in play. There's a Cynthia. Ultra Ball. Get rid of another Choice Helmet. That's fine. He's going for Dark Eye Prism. Interesting. That's not the end of the world, though. We have a fair amount of switching cards, if he does ever come down to it. Does he have two energy in his hand? Wow, he did! And, alright, good thing he didn't have an energy switch. That could have gone ugly. Um, so what do I do? Do I just Poison Absorption him? Or Severe Poison? Could do nasty goo mix here. I kind of like. Yeah, let's do it. Your opponent's are now paralyzed and poisoned. That's at least force energy. He only has one card in his hand too, so I'm pretty positive he doesn't have a way to switch out of this. Hundred and seventy damage with poison. Yo, if we had a Burbank in play, that'd be insane. So he's got two cards. If he has a Guzma, don't know what to tell you, but he's, that's two cards. The likelihood of that is rare. And yes, he doesn't have it. If he gets to switch, whatever. This thing is still heavily poisoned, so we can still finish off with Poison. And we're going to be able to take three prizes here, which is pretty big. I still have Marsh Shadow, so we can still get out of this hand. There's a Treasure. Probably getting another Poipool. Oh, that is busted. <laughs> Just took three prizes with poison. Oh my gosh. That's insane. There's an ace roller. I might as well just get Muck then. He's just going to give me another prize. Wow. Pretty good for me. We'll treasure. I will get another Muck just because we'll just ace roller here if he attacks me. Someone's outside making a lot of noise. That is very annoying. Uh, we'll play DC again. He's not playing Enhanced Hammer. We'll skateboard and we will severe poison and knock him out. Whoever's outside making all that noise, can you please shut up? That is very loud. Hopefully the mic is not picking up that noise. Hold on, let me see. No, I don't know. There's this really loud noise outside my window and it is very, very loud. All right, so he might knock me out. It is, it is likely he can get a knockout here. We'll see if he does have it. Can't believe we took, we took that prize there with our GX tag. That's kind of hilarious. We just need one prize to win though. And that shouldn't be too hard to get. There's an acro bike. What's he gonna get off of this? Can we get a choice fan maybe? 
Really wish we had buff padding in play right now, that'd be great. If he doesn't knock me out though, we'll just ace roll of the muck, bring in the other Lolan muck and severe poison him. Ultra ball coming down, getting rid of Darkrai, uh oh. That's not good, that's an extra energy for my opponent. Not good at all. He might actually have a knockout here. Might actually have a knockout. I'm too lazy to do the math, but I think he does have a KO here. He might be short, though. He's done. Just on the dot, bro. Get out of here. Actually, not good. Uh-oh. Not good, guys. Not good. Okay, we could still potentially... Actually, I don't know. I genuinely don't know if we can win at this point. We can Koga him. If he has a way to poison me, though, he can always just GX attack me. No Guzma means we can't Guzma anything up. I don't think we win with Guzma anyways. I have to get buff I think our plan here is to just try and get Guzma to win the game on this thing. Unfortunately, not the greatest plan, but we'll have to do... There's the Guzma. There's a Malamar. So we just gotta wait one more turn. We'll Nest Ball. Get another Jirachi. Go into it. Malamar. Build up muck. So all we gotta do is just not get knocked out. See if this works. Yeah, all we have to do is just not get knocked out and we can win. He's got one Guzma. Might have it. He's gotta do 320 damage though, so. It's gonna come down to this. He might just, he probably does have it, let's be honest. He's got no energy in the discard, right? Okay. Make me a little more positive. Yeah, so if he just doesn't win here, we just win the game by knocking out Naganadel, because Black Market Prism Star does not work with Naganadel. Yeah, and again, guys, apologies if you heard any of that loud noise of the windows. There's a lot of construction going on, on my street recently, and that was very, very loud. Oh, he has a Guzma. Uh oh. Oh, he's going for Malamar? Looks like we win. Yeah, looks like that's game. Alright, nice. I'm actually more shocked he's not going with the Darkrai Prism Star play. Wouldn't you just rather give up one prize, though? But this is fine. We do have game here. Alright. Decently close match. He got a KO out of nowhere on me. Um, That's whatever, though. So yeah, that'll wrap today's Peace Joe video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. And of course, guys, subscribe here on the road to 5k subs. I am going to wrap up the video here. I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. But uh, yeah, that's going to be game here against my opponent's Greninja and Zoark deck. Muck going on, man. We got a really nice first game there against that Hoopa deck against my good friend Gengar101, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Check out Kirk TCG, of course, if you're looking for any codes. Use code LDF. Get the 5% discount on your order. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in another PCG video, guys. Hope you enjoyed Alolan Muck, man. Surprised me a lot and turned out to be pretty fun and good to play. So yeah, see you guys in another video. Bye.